hey you thanks for stopping by today we're going to be making a boho bag and for that we need poly macrame yarn a crochet hook a needle and a thread we also need a piece of leather that looks like this we need a needle darning needle and we also need a chain and a piece of fabric so to start off i'm going to be making a magic circle this is how we do it so just wrap your yarn around your hand like this and then start by grabbing the yarn in this direction making a loop like that and then i'm going to chain six So once you're done chaining six, you want to pull the end of that yarn to make the circle tighter. And that is what we have. So to complete the circle, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. So let me first just trim off this excess Piece of yarn that is hanging so to complete the circle this is what you have at this point you want to focus 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 okay so i'm going to put my hook through here right where your first stitch was and then pull the loop through and then I'm going to pass it around like this and make sure you the, the hanging piece of yarn is behind so and then just pull like that and with that you have a complete circle so i'm going to be showing you where i'm going to be placing my crochet hook it should pass under this loop in between those two stitches not here but right here so follow closely because this is where we're going to be crocheting for all the for all the stitches in this uh, circle that we're making so for the first um, stitch I usually go just once and then for the rest I go twice until I reach the end and reach the first stitch which I only did once and then I'm going to do a second one to make them two as well I hope that makes sense so I'm going to be showing a close-up because this is the process that we're going to be doing for the rest of the circle that you're making. So when you reach the end, see where we did only just one stitch. I'm going to go in one more time to make a second stitch. And then I'm going to complete the circle the same way I did the first time I started. So just pull the loop through, take it around your work. And then pull. So the reason why we are doing this is so that you just have complete circles. So the circles are individual circles rather than a spiral. So we're going to repeat the process. This is where you want your crochet hook to pass through. 
and then I'm going to be repeating the process so this is what we have right now um, so in case you're having trouble um, crocheting a perfect circle just um, google how to crochet a perfect circle here on youtube and you'll be able to see the different tutorials some of them are really detailed so you may want to google um how to crochet a perfect circle using whatever yarn you're using whether it's t-shirt yarn whether it's poly macrame because sometimes the pattern varies depending on the type of yarn that you're using so as you can see the circles are just individual they don't join that is what we want to do to create this pattern that we have for this boho bag so just go on and on and for mine i did um 12 rows you can continue on and make it bigger if you want your bag to be bigger you can make it smaller if you want your bag to be smaller so mine were 12 rows in total So once you're done, this is what it should look like. So do two pieces because we need a front and a back. And then we're going to attach the fabric at the back. So this part I did off camera. I also added a pocket, just a small pocket. That is obviously optional. So I, I used hot glue to just keep the fabric in place as I sew around the circumference of the circle so do this with a thread that matches your fabric of course because you don't want it to look tacky and now this is what we have you can add a stiffener to make it sturdy if you're if your type of yarn that you're using is not um, strong enough or if you feel like your circles are flimsy so now this is a piece of leather that I'm going to be attaching around the two circles um, right here I'm just showing you how I touch how I attached my snap hooks so I did like a crochet thingy feel free to use deerings if you want to or you can just improvise whatever method you want to attach your snap hooks on there you don't have to really do what i did so this is how i go around the leather piece and then when i reach the end i'm going to cut this yarn and now come right here pull the yarn through and then through this hole grab the yarn
pull it through I'm sorry if I keep going off focus and now this is how it looks like when you're done it looks like a continuous chain you cannot tell where it starts and where it stops so come at the back and then finish off like that and then of course you want to burn and seal the the ends so one side is done do, do the same thing for the other side and then this is what we have so right now I'm going to attach the round pieces you need to be careful with the back piece because it has a pocket so you want to make sure that you align the center of the leather piece with the center of the circle because you want the small pocket on the inside to sit upright and basically this is just how I'm going to attach it I'm going to hold it with safety pins and then I'm going to sew around it as as you're going to see So I'm done with one side. I'm going to repeat the same with the other side. So repeat the same for the other side. Now attach with safety pins. And then this is what it should look like once you're done attaching both sides. We are almost done. I attach, um, I place rivets uh, in the middle just to seal the small holes. You can leave them as is or as was. So that is what it looks like on the inside. So right now we're going to be attaching the slings. So once you attach the sling, this is what it looks like. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in my next one.